Sarah's going through the change of life. So if he does heal me, it's too late now. It's too late. I haven't been through too much now. I've, I've, I've already closed the book, decided I'm never going to do what I thought I was going to do. And I'm never going to be who I thought I was going to be. I've watched all my friends have babies. I've watched all of them wrap those babies up, bring them over, we play with them. But at the end of the day, they go home with their mamas. I'm, it's just me, me and Abraham. So that's not, it's just not, it's too late. It can't happen for me now. So I'm just gonna put it out of my mind. Sarah, little by little, has rocked whatever faith she had. She has rocked it to sleep and tucked it into the bed. Because I remember Bishop making a statement one time and it rocked my world. He said, because when you really want something and you can't get it, the next best thing to do is not want it anymore. What have you rocked to sleep? What have you determined was never going to happen to you? And when she rocked that desire to sleep, tucked it in the bed, wouldn't you know it? Here comes God to her tent door. Don't, don't tell me, don't tell me it's going to happen. Don't, because if you tell me, if you, if you stir me up, and if you challenge me, if I come to woman thou art loose, you're going to make me dream again. You're going to make me believe again. You're going to make me hope again. And I don't want to do it anymore, because then I got to fight again, and I'm tired of fighting. I can't fight anymore. What have you rendered unconscious so that you don't have to hurt anymore? So that you don't have to want anymore? So that you don't have to dream anymore? So that you don't have to hope anymore? She has cried her faith to sleep. Sarah, hey Sarah, God's out here. Come, come, come out here. God wants to see you. I am not coming out, Abraham. I am tired about hearing, hearing about all of these descendants, 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 descendants. Look, I, I, there are no descendants. What descendants, Abraham? What? I've lived my whole life on promises. It's promise after promise after promise after promise. And, and, and now I finally realize I've been denied of the one thing that I wanted more than anything. Why me? Why have I given up so much to only be able to possess? so little well if she won't come out will you tell her <laughs> that I'm still going to do what I told her I was going to do I don't know who I'm talking to but that's what I feel like God told me to tell somebody Somebody in here, somebody watching over the internet, God said, tell them, Cheryl, I'm still, while they tripping, while they're wringing their hands, while they're rendering everything unconscious, tell them I'm still going to do everything I told them I was going to. You are hearing him today. I said, you are hearing him today. If you don't even want to come out of your tent, he brought you here. He brought us here to tell you he's still going to do it for you. God found you today. He found you in this room. He sent his word. He sent his word and healed your disease.